Good evening, or good morning, wherever you are. Here for a 4v4 on Grand White Shop, a default map. Will look familiar to some of you. And we have, on the ally team, obviously playing the Valkyrie mod, Franz, Konos, he's gone, an elite marksman squad, I think. The Manus 36, or is it SMG? Liam going, a red guard elite marksman, and uh, elite MG in the center from Rummage. He's gone, the Anzacs. And then we've got on the right, Jutska as USA going to Elite Marksman, and Jutsu is going to meet up with an Elite MG buy for the Germans, and that's Cool Keith, whoever he is, haven't seen him play before, and Grob Shulin, haven't seen him play either, looks like an Elite MG for Japan, and Nat Nat in the center area going as Japan as well, and he's gone an Elite a single MG, plus singles, he's facing off Rummage, going to use a few grenades here, Position of fire, Vickers VGO as the elite marksman for, sorry, elite MG for Anzacs. Very, very nice gun and is doing quite a lot of damage on the right. And let's see on the left, we got Tedessa, oh, my favorite player. He's going elite marksman. Kakapatio, I can't remember how you say that. Uh, Arcturus from Finland told me one time, but I totally forgot. And the foreign legionnaire, looks like they've wiped the floor of the Kakapatios. <laughs> sorry. And uh, yeah, what they have, MLE Mass and MLE 1918, so they actually outshot the fin Finnish ones. I thought Finland had the best elite marksman in the game, possibly in different ranges, because they do have the very fast shot, which is probably more effective in more shorter ranges, like the SMG range. And Jutska trying to push on the right, he's gone uh, maybe a bit too slow to get there, because the guys are already behind sandbags. Cookies. Pulling down his uh, MG in position, he's kind of got shot up quite a bit, so he had to heal up. But just going now waiting for himself, to, uh, waiting for the fire fire back at him so he can shoot. But I guess he's waiting for the M20 buy. First vehicle buy, no second vehicle buy in the field. Also in the center, Hago from Nat Nat. Let's see the M20 go. Let's uh, pick up the pace in the cast because there's a lot of action. M20 coming in right now with the 50 cal. It's got Nat Nat's icon. Interesting. Oh no, sorry, that's Nat Nat with the sunglasses. It's just a troll happening once again. Might uh, annoy. Oh, knocks him out with a rifle shot. MG42 might get run over. No, just uh, can't get the can't get the hole into his crush. Can't crash him. He's dodged it once again. The elite rangers are firing at the same time. And oh, that's an AT rifle shot from somewhere. It's from over here. Cool key. So the AT rifle knocks the back of the M20. Takes out Jutska's. One can just because tanker man pick up anything with that. No, he's gonna try to get the bazooka and take out the MG42. No, no MLG for Jutska today. Oh, he takes out one at least. And let's see in the center how that Hago went. It obviously went poorly with this black smoke coming out of there. So, barely went there. Now, because video has been moved up into this uh, window wreckage, look at it blazing down into the center point. It looks fantastically powerful. And let's see the model here. And fantastically cool, this, this guy. I'm not sure if you can see this, there's too much, too much fire going on. The muzzle of the gun is blocking my view of his model. I probably can't see because he keep firing. So, he's just got a mask on. Not a mask, a desert mask on. Looks like one of those SAS guys in the desert in Africa, fighting the Germans. On the left, Konos setting up a sandbag line. Looks like he is unsu was unsuccessful in pushing the spawn flag of Tedessas. But now they've they've kind of got their lines very, very, very uh, spaced out and nicely split up both ends. So it looks like none of them are going to progress to each other's line yet until some sort of counter comes. Resistance from Konos. And here comes an infantry killer, Hotchkiss. Let's see the center. Looks like Tedessa and Nat Nat are venturing together. The OT-130 for Finland is going to look for some barbecue. Not sure what kind of barbecue they have in Finland. Possibly some barbecue salmon, some sort of fish. Ooh, and they're indeed getting flamed. Where is the Vickers VGO? Vickers VGO must have been killed. It's not there. It's run, run away, maybe? But nice flaming action from the OT-130. Uncounted yet. See a vehicle coming in just a bit late from Liam. Liam with the T3476L11. I think that's the early T34. Unable to counter. OT130 out of there. To this out. Got out there like a pro Nat Nat with his uh, Kernu coming in. Unfortunately, is not able to fight the T34 and is forced to just wait till some opportunity comes and 
yeah, I guess that Kenu was a bit of a useless spy as that Chinu is out. So I kind of slowed him down to get that Chinu. Had different plans, I guess, but the OT-130 did a good job. And here it comes again, but... Ooh, nice shot from Romich. Gets the Piat on that O... Oh, sorry, O-130. And let's see this duel. T-34 is angled quite well from Liam. Probably won't be able to get penetrated. Most probably could get turreted, and it's already tracked that Chinu disabled it. So maybe it can just reverse, or maybe even go further back and then reverse out, go around the buildings and set up some sort of 50-50 play at close range as that gun is terribly awful and will not have a chance to penetrate that Chinu at far range. So on the right, let's see this Hoshka still its work. No go yet. I guess it really does puny amounts of damage, I suppose. This guy's not behind the sandbag either. And it's just a lower tier. Oh, there's a Border Jaeger. So I think Border Jaegers are third tier. Third tier, so it didn't do too much. Didn't do too bad, actually, damage-wise. Kunos has a... Ooh, Stephen Fisher. He's got his... Uh, what is that? Second special point? So I'm actually watching the French, so I can see what they have. It's the Viva la France. I think the new one, Viva la France, comes with the uh, UK Scouts instead. Or was it the Dem... No, Demi Brigades on that. But let's see this guy in action. Oh, what the... Piat was shot very far away from the target. Another shot, second miss one. Missed again. T-50 moving back. Can Curtis get the shot off? He's running in direct... He's trying to dodge it. He's strafing to left to right. Oh! <laughs> Was that an AP round? AP sniped, but uh, he got his revenge in the end. Definitely worth worth it, I suppose. So, Kronos doing quite well so far. Liam hits his red guards, trying to make a move in the center mid. Doesn't look like he has an opening. There's too much cover in that position. Nat Nat with some reinforcements in the center, and looks like they're capping now. Uh, I haven't been keeping an eye on the scoreboard. It's 0 27 going to the Axis so far. Pretty good score. I'm not sure about uh, if the Axis are uh, worse off at the start in this mod. I don't think it's changed that dramatically. But I know the Allies have been nerfed. So perhaps, yeah, perhaps the end game Axis isn't that. It's still good, but the Allies, I guess, Allied start game isn't as good. Williams T-34 trying to get a 50-50 on it, but it doesn't need to because there seems like there's a bigger tank on the field now. And we have Romich. Oh, it's not a bigger tank. It's got a bigger gun. It's a half-track, six-pounder from the Anzacs. Known for their light vehicles. Quick uh, quick attacks. I guess it's an economical six-pounder unit. Uh, 50 cal on that. Oh, no, it's just Jutska with the not now icon. The sunglasses, a 50-50 take. No, that's the Chinu. He was reloading. Grenade misses. So he's going to come around for another shot. Kenu as well wants a bit of the action. Can turret Kenu down? And Chinu can't be penetrated, it seems. I don't know if it's destroyed, but oh, bad luck. Let's go get shot in between the buildings by another Chinu from, Grudge, from Grob. I'm going to call him Grob. Chinu's taken out by the half track from the Anzacs. Oh, but. They return the favor with another Chinu. Chinu's all around here. As soon as he lost that other one, he bought another one. So uh, see how Jutska's going on the right, not doing too well, losing his far right point on the western point. Marauders from Jutska. It's the one special USA infantry with a mixture of units, shotguns and that. Probably not the best unit in the open, but I suppose it's a spam unit that you buy is USA if you want infantry. MG42 still alive from cool... Oh, so the MG34 from the Brandenburg with some cookies. I think that's the MG42 right there from the Panzer Grand. It's still alive. Just got able to counter it so far. This is another M20. The M20 here's down. Yep, so he's bought another M20. I suppose on the right there isn't any tanks yet, but I can see Grob moving his Chinu to the side to counter this M19. So, just come. Gotta be wary here. But it has been doing quite well in terms of kills, but not none of the top scoring units. I suppose the infantry has been doing well, taking out quite a bit. As the Chinu's first shot, I think, has taken out the Tarot. I think so. 
But uh, it's not actually going to hide. It's still... Oh, I don't know. That hill is blocking it a little bit. But I think the Chinu still has a shot on that M19. Mm, perhaps not. Chinu's just trying to... It's actually going back. There's no line of sight on it, perhaps. And that's probably the re... Oh, no! Poor Keith with the Brandenburger snuck up the Panzerfaust and takes out the M19. I suppose the M19 was a bit of a bait from Jules. Get the croc onto the Chinu, which is mm, a bit risky now because it's a 50 50 range. I guess any range is a 50 50 with the Chinu can penetrate the croc at max, vice versa. Being, both being quite cautious, just go, taking the initiative now, trying to push Grub back to his. Uh, back to the Axis side and vice versa, one goes back, the other goes forward, cheeky cheeky oh, Grov getting the shot off again and has tracked it let's see this Chinu, Chinu is going to try to get him off with the side of that croc but that croc can turn its turret, oh it's going to shot on the oh, it's going to caught napping uh, only the track was damaged but now it has been destroyed by the Chinu just got now going for a, a Greyhound, he's, he's just gone batshit, he's angry. He's lost 70 units in succession, he has no money and he just wants to kill stuff. And he's got, oh, he had a perfect shot there. Very accurate gun as well and unfortunately hits the impenetrable, whatever the hell that is. That's, you just can't shoot through that, basically. It's a power, power station thingamajob, thingamajib. Oh, nearly. Did he get the turret? No, I didn't. Unfortunately, it hasn't got anything in it's probably forced to reverse. Oh! That shot nearly takes out Jutsu's Greyhound. And I think I will switch it. Or oh, maybe not. Just because not. No, he's not going to do anything uh, too drastic now. But let's have a look at the left. We've got Kronos making a move on to Dessa. Oh, it's got Rome, Rome Mission support with his Anzac LRDG patrol. 50 cal and 20 cal on the back. Hotchkiss here as well. Backed up with a Ch Renault B1 Biz Tur. This is the heavy armored one, 82 armor in the front. I don't believe this this short saw action. Oh, maybe no, I don't think it did. But it's just the same as the B1, but with extra armor. OT100 from Tedessa has to just stay back. Oh, you can kill by anything. So the LRDG 20 millimeter car has taken out the OT. Pinging something there. Was that White Death? No. <laughs> oh, there's White Death right there. Good. Get. Get no scoped. <laughs> oh, he got crushed. LIDG is. Wow. It's uh, did quite well. Indeed. Has been. Has taken out White Death. And the reason why White Death had that description get no scoped in elite speak as you programmers like to say is because uh, Simahaya is it was modeled with the guy Simahaya who used the rifle which had no scope but uh, it was the highest scoring uh, I guess call it a score had the highest kill count for a sniper in the war I can't remember something ridiculous the amount of kills that he had and that's why he's a special unit for Finland Grubs Chinu is still alive. We've got the mortars out by now. Three specials. Nat Nat is doing the classic Japan play in the center with mortars. Goes going to do well, basically. But the allies still hold it. Mortar is pounding to position. Tur is not counterable at this stage. T T50 from Tedessa. Tedessa is buying, or well, not sure if he's buying. Maybe he had that before. But he has all these units that can be counted. I suppose he bought that T-50 to save the sniper to take out the LRDG. Konos has got his Hotchkiss and his turret, so he's got the infantry killing domination and also the tank domination. Tedessa has stolen that uh, actually that uh, 20 mm LRDG. Let's check out Jutska going the M19 again. Likes his uh, fast vehicles with, I guess, with uh, fast uh, fast shooting abilities. 50-50 dangerous styles as well. Mortar starting to get uh, some kills. Got uh, Romich with the stack out tulip. Takes a shot and I think it took out the mortar right here. There you go. So that uh, that that's mortar unfortunately. Mm. 
Could have probably been put behind the church, because this is quite impenetrable. The stack would have struggled to take it out. SU-85 from Liam. Gonna try and counter the Chinu. So, waiting. Chinu can take it out too, frontally, because it can't angle very well. Bounce. I dare say next shot this SU-85 is going to heaven. Boom! There you go. <laughs> it's gone to heaven. Liam, Liam. Unfortunately, couldn't uh, angle it right. But in the did just take out the T-50. Tedessa forced the hold in the back. Stonewall. The French forces looking quite strong on this flag. Nothing uh, to come. I don't know what the... The Finnish, I do have... Uh, what do they call it now? They do have the Charioteur. But I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure it's, pretty, it's like 8 special points or something high. And Tedessa's already bought uh, White Death plus uh, a few other things. But look at the infiltration here. Cool Keith. Nice one. Brandenburgers. The sneaky bastards. Even got a Brandenburger right over here. So not only Jutska is affected, so Jutska pretty much let through all these Brandenburgers and it's going to affect Konos or someone down in the future. So it's all Jutska's fault, guys. And looks like one of them is going to take out Jutska's veteran Sherman. This is the Fury. I think they renamed the Fury. Yeah, it's a Fury. It's got the logs on it. But lucky it's uh, gone away. And he's an officer from Dutska. Oh, he's going to go for the officer. <laughs> oh, man. I, I just, it's just funny to see him. I've never seen an officer killed by a grenade, to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen that in my entire Assault Squad. About 1,000 plus games. Um... That's hilarious. Oh man. <laughs> In officer school. When I went to, uh, what do you call that stupid academy? Uh, what's that American academy, military academy? Oh, uh, bloody hell. Okay, don't worry. That <laughs> was probably the last thing on his mind going toward it. <laughs> to get grenaded by an AT grenade. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Kernos, 155 GBF. Got that, uh, th I think that's the three special points. He's got the, who built it? Is the officer around here? Yeah, it is. It's the officer. So that's a three special point. Poussants. Looks like uh, somehow Tedessa's managed to get his flag back. Sorry, I wasn't keeping paying attention. Perhaps that next Chinu helped out in that. The ch the tur is not down. I think he got turreted, forced to reverse back. That's strat 29 CSI. It's going to lucky to be alive with this veteran. I suppose it's uh, that other Brandenburger died, but there's another one here. I suppose it's worth it. Officers, like, how much is it in the mod now? 460 MP, yeah, that's definitely worth it. Good good choice, Cookies. Good choice indeed. Uh, Kronos uh, and Jutska. I'm going to try hold this flag. Oh, Brandenburger's been pinged. Who's going to go for it? Is someone going to find it? Yeah, it looks like he's, got, he's already been pinged again. He's definitely been found. So, that just got is uh, not going to be yelled at by his teammates anymore. Oh, wow. GPS been taken out. Oh, it's just the gun's been taken out because Nat Nat's got a 200 mil. Cheekily running away after the shot so he doesn't get counter batteried. Well played. Well, centers. Looks like it's going back to the Allies. It seems like a lot of back and forwards happening. I can't believe this uh, T-34-76 is still alive. It's an early tank. So 16 to 57. Now the Allies are start to get on the scoreboard. And Chinus are the top scorers so far. Most effective unit on the field. What the hell's going on? M19 been taken out. You can see that. So what's, uh, where's the fronts happening? What's happening in all the fronts now? Just trying to get my bearings on, on where's the weak points. It looks like the right side, pretty weak for the allies, but no, no, I guess, doesn't look like there's any push going, going to happen anytime soon. Just go playing defensive on this line while he uses his tank in this area. I suppose if they hold the center, that's fine. So they still have the majority of the cap. Center, 
Oh. It's it's anyone's game really in the centre, in my opinion. 200 millimeters. The mortar now from that nat now positioned in probably a better position, so the staghound can't kill it, and we'll turn the tide in the centre really. That mortar will eventually uh, earn its keep. Cool Keith now now approaching just as flag, so you may need to focus on that more as the allies will. The axis will start to tick up once he gets this MG42 in a great position. Cool Keith coming in with some single infantry, veteran riflemen or para, para guys, they're fast, yeah they're, they're, he bought the third tier, these are the paratroopers, you can see how fast they are, they're third tier now, so they're, they're bought more, see them running, you can definitely tell that they, they have, uh, they're elite, GPF being moved away, gonna try to get repaired away from the lines, scared of the 200 mil, Flak from Odessa to consolidate his position. But still uh, no big tanks, I suppose. I, uh, only that, is that B, B1 Tur, Biz Tur is still in the back. It's been repaired. But uh, doesn't want to go toe to toe with the Chinu, I guess. Probably could if it doesn't get turreted. He might do so. It'll be an interesting battle because I don't really see this battle happen much at all. See the French Bister. Rear its head, coming down the hill. Now it's spotted. Now the Chini looks like it's going to make a move. Nat Nat coming in to shoot at the Tur. Konos reloading an AP shell. It's just going to try to fire back. <laughs> it's only got a 47mm. Good luck. It looks like it's just going to try to track it. So Konos is just going to try to track it and for something, for probably for the. Where's uh, Jessica's veteran? Veteran Sherman. Hmm. Disappeared. Maybe it died. Uh, looks like he doesn't want to. Doesn't want to try it. Now centers being decrewed. Lots of RT happening. Now the game is kind of slowing down. No one making him. Here's that Sherman going back to the right side. Just got lost his right side. Marauders holding, and now <laughs> more paranoid. Even Romich is coming here to spot just in case the Brandenburgers are here. That's some more units to spot. We're still doing okay, I suppose, in the score. M19 again from Jutska. Wants to make a, a move, an impact, somehow. A hundred killer down the warehouse area. Take out all these guys behind the buildings. And what's the Dessa doing here? Wow. It's quite interesting to see the movements of the players in other, other areas of the map. So the is holding on with quite a strong squad. These are the Capaccio, Jaegers, and Panzergrenadiers. Stagger Tulips takes out three. These are elite troops, by the way. Even M19 struggling to one shot it. See? What the? <laughs> just take out its own M1 AT gun. Oh, just because it's trying to get the CP happening, but unfortunately, that uh, backfire reveals himself and gets pwned by the. 47 Type 1, most, one of the most powerful access guns, by the way, light AT guns. Chinu, gonna finish off as well. Oh, what happened there? Oh, the Sherman's here. Veteran Sherman struggling to penetrate. Chinu potentially can return the favor. I think that's, no, it's not damage. It's just, oh, there, it's obviously damage now. It explodes into full of fire. That's consolidating his position very well, Mr. Cool Keith. Lots of elite troops with MGs, hard to take out, and the M19 could do it, uh, probably. Something kind of infantry killer. Well, let's check out this turn, what's it doing? It's somehow. Oh, Chinu! It's come out, they took out the Chinu. Oh, crew injured. Chinu seems like he can fire back, maybe just crew injured. Oh, another one missed. Chinu gonna fire back. It's no fun if it doesn't. Oh, this is. Uh, it's aiming at the turret, I think. Oh! It's in turret, and now the Bizlan turn with the 45... 47mm can go closer to finish it off. But he's gonna go take it out from safety. We oui, Capitan, you did it. For French. For France. Oh! Here he goes! Pia! Boom! Oh, wow. It's got strong armor, but not enough for a shape charge, my friend. Now, Bizter. 
and died. And fortunately, the Chinu is in a pretty good position to get repaired. Where the Biz is probably not. Oh, it's okay, I guess. You got some MGs covering, but you got also that flak there, which is going to prevent any anyone from anyone prevent anyone to repair that tank. Stag Hound getting repaired. Getting sorry, rearmed. Re Ooh. That sound indeed sounds like a real Katashiro type rocket. Takes out nothing though. Awful shot. <laughs> I was aiming for this, I suppose. And I think that's yeah, that's repairable. You can see it white on the map. And chose a good spot, as you can see the whole all these houses have been brought down because multiple rockets have been firing at it, so forced them to waste the ordnance. Just saw Liam uh, have a good barbecue. We have here Rangers, Recallers. Wow, just because really being pressured now. Cookie's coming up to the sandbag line on the across the road. He's gone past. When you go past the road, there's no turning back. So now it's uh, all offensive on <laughs> Jutska spawn. The left. Uh, they look like they're yeah. It's pretty much this side. So they're hold, holding the middle. Okay. But uh, they need one more flag. It's hard to it's hard to really get these back flags, to be honest. Um, so potentially this is the flag, probably the weakest flag for the Axis, or the Allies' chance to get their flags sticking up. 85 to 20 doesn't look too good. Ooh, stack out too. Massive kills. Liam with red guards coming in. Oh, look at look at that. MGs, there's no way they can assault that without infantry killers or some rocket support. Getting mowed down from afar. This guy must have a super veterancy. GBF. Maybe Konus can make a move on Tedessa. Needs that flak down. Fortunately, that uh, Tur was taken out. If the Tur wasn't taken out, perhaps he could have made a move. Uh, he's got this uh, arm and half track. The demi brigade, perhaps, or just a, uh, or just the mechanized French infantry. Going to struggle. There's, there's no option with that flak there. And now we have Tedessa capping the center. Only three fags. Fl three, three fags. Not three flags. <laughs> three flags to six. Not looking good at all for. The allies, and I don't think they can come back from this one. But a Chi Riyat from Nat Nat. Tarsi as well. Chi Ri, geez. I don't think there's any big tanks on the allied side. But a kangaroo. What's a kangaroo? Is that like a, a priest? Or is that a oh, kangaroo? Is just a half track. <laughs> it's a half track with a M30. Let's see this kangaroo fail miserably. Chi Chi Ri. Oh Chi Ri! Oh Tulip. <laughs> Was uh, taking a shot. Could have taken it out if he hit the engine. And uh cool. Kangaroo is actually withstanding a bit of hits. Wow. A lot more than expected. <laughs> uh, there you go. The M30 kangaroo made its debut in the Valkyrie mod. Here comes Konos, the French's last charge. 97 to 20. Desperate for points. It looks like Jutska has got uh, this one with Liam. Oh, wow. Okay, Konos may take this as well. 28. They know the clock's ticking and looks like they have stopped it. Five points now going to them. And. Um, you can hold this left side. This left side looks quite precarious though. There's not much. Uh, you've got to go out of the ditch. Oh, never mind. A mortar just landed right in there. There's a hand mortar, I think. Oh, no, no, sorry. Hand, hand mortar on the Finland side. Must have been a grenade. That's why he jumped out. Okay, fair enough. Bazooka. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. He does have a heavy tank. The ARL 44 has reared its ugly head. And that's, uh, is that a tactic hero type? No, it's got 120 armor, frankly, so it can definitely fight off with the 
Chiri. I was going 90mm too. Oh, let's see the Chiri and the AR. Chiri coming in. Nat, nat, no. Oh, no. It's been turreted. And can reverse down the hill. It's quite easy to do it. Invade shots now. But that was uh, yeah, unlucky for Nat, nat, which I think. Uh, ooh. Yeah, as soon as Tedesa gets this back, it looks like they may not have an option to assault that side center. Not really an option too. There's too many infantry in this area. Oh, what a shot by the Tus. Oh, Panzerfaust took it out right there. Excuse, uh, the background noise. Konos now running away, got it repaired. 99-21, it's over. Well played. Uh, well, okay, pretty fast place game. I guess a lot, lot of things are happening. Uh, that's 4v4, it's hard to cast and keep an eye on everything. Got the Vet Tiger out, I didn't even know. Uh, looks like the, yeah, it looks like the sneaky, sneaky play by, I'm impressed by the sneaky play of uh, Mr. Cool Keith. Who is Cool Keith, by the way? Is he under an alias, guys? Let me know um, who he is. I don't recognize him. He did very well sneaking across and um, taking out Jutska's flags. Um, so well played to the uh, allies. I actually expect... Yeah, actually, no, sorry, the Axis. <laughs> I expected the uh, allies to win that one. Good game.